What's going down, Watch Dogs Legions fans? My name's Mac, you're at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be looking at the brand new patch that rolled across for Watch Dogs Legions. Patch 5.60 goes live for everyone across the board, but what is in it? We're going to go ahead and digest and see what's going down. If you're newer to the network, hit that subscription button in company with a notification bell to get all future updates, because there's a lot of exciting stuff happening on the channel just today and who knows what's happening in the near future. So let's go ahead and slide into the news and get this started. Now the code name of this update will be also 1.24 for most consoles that flood in. As you can see with their launches on 9.14, there's a lot of different sizes. PlayStation 4 and it looks like PC, Stadia, and Xbox Series X got the huge one, but somehow PlayStation 5 tends to just be a lean, mean, gigabyte machine. Um, very interesting like so i'm curious to see what their feedback if like any like random ubisoft person would ever watch this well, why is that i'm kind of curious but besides that the general fixes that we can see again is spider bot arena <laughs> minimum players to the four players um, this will fix the reduce of the minimum players um, intended for the two players so now you can also see that there is an issue that could cause some of the crashing in certain circumstances, uh, missing visual effects in the UI and highlighted and hovering over the mouse, PC specific, and the cargo drone for the Watch Dogs Legion of Dead. PC also could see some situations where unable to recruit operatives with the required season rank 10 while having it unlocked at that level. Xbox comes down to some fixes for as far as crashing when uh, signing out on an active profile, Watch Dogs Legions, as well as fix the issue with the input, not registering the controller for the access of an out of game invitation. And you can also see the Xbox One had some issues with uh, the game crashing, but it seems like PlayStation 5 barely made the list, so maybe that's why it was light. They were just buffering some stuff inside of there for the general fixes, as to where the more specific fixes were for PC and Microsoft influenced mean machines. Because they're really great. I can't wait to get my hands on an Xbox Series X. I just. I really hope this tech crisis ends pretty soon. But everyone, if you are newer to the network, I would definitely recommend subscribing. It's absolutely free, helps me out as a creator. And if you accompany it with the notification bell, you'll be getting all the future updates as they roll across my channel. I've got a ton of updates still to go down. I got Apex, No Man's Sky, Cyberpunk, and I got an AMD update and check NVIDIA to see if they've updated too, because Deathloop is live and I would assume that they have added support for it since it is now playable. I will see you guys and gals in the near future, as well as playing Deathloop later on, so if you're excited about that, stay tuned for the live reaction videos that I roll across the channel. So I will see you guys and gals in the near future, stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you there very shortly, because tons, just tons of updates. It's a fun time to be a creator right now.